Good morning from Hamburg, Germany. This video is about a free location scouting app that you should have, and it all starts right now. Let's go. Alright and good morning. We are down at a very classic location here in the city. This is near the Stadthausbrücke station and uh, subway station and it is a cold winter morning here in Hamburg. It is uh, very grey and overcast and cloudy, a little bit windy so uh, typical conditions for the city. It's only like this about 10 months out of the year but uh, given that I'm a Canadian that's alright with me. I'm used to it and uh, we can get some really cool black and white long exposures of the architecture which is what I'm going to try and focus on today. And this video is all about how to find those locations. So there is one app, one specific app that I've been using for quite a while that I very much enjoy and I think it's a really really quality product which is why I wanted to make a video about it. It's called Location Scout. So it is a free app. There is a premium version but I use the free version and uh, and I like it a lot. I think that there's probably a ton of added benefits to the premium. I just don't need them and uh, yeah, I use it without. So uh, <laughs> this is definitely not sponsored by them, by the way. It's uh, more to uh, to share with you some very useful tips on how to find locations around where you live or how to participate in the community that is Location Scout. So uh, great app linked in the description. We're going to talk a little bit more about the app as we explore the city and get a couple shots because I am Location Scouting right now. and that is the first location wrapped and this is less than two minute walk from the event space where we're holding the city break which is really really nice and it will be the first stop on one of the little mini circuits of the city that I'm trying to kind of create right now so I reckon we'll explore a little bit more and try to find like a few different locations that we can add to this circuit using the Location Scout app and I know a few of them are already on the app but some of them I don't think they are so Let's see if uh, we can use the app to find the next one and then possibly even add one of our own because uh, it is a community after all. And even though I'm using the free version, I still am pretty certain that I can add locations onto the app. So yeah, let's give it a try. All right, our second location here is the Hansa Forum building. Again, less than like a two minute walk from that first spot. But this is actually not on the app, this location. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to try and figure out how to add it. But this building is uh, is very relatively new, I think. It's got like a, a WeWork kind of uh, community space in it and a whole bunch of offices. And I love this really wide open glass kind of lobby area with these cool lights. And this is open on a Saturday, which is really fucking cool because uh, that allows us to come here as a group on the weekend when a lot of the other office buildings are actually closed on the weekend. So the fact that this room here, this space is open on a Saturday is really, really useful. And uh, it photographs extremely well with a super wide angle. I was here uh, a few months ago to film a different video, I believe with the Sony 12 to 24, uh, which is just perfect for this, uh, this space. So yes, I will add this to Location Scout because it is a pretty phenomenal location. We are now in an area of Hamburg that I don't know so well. So what I'm gonna do is actually get out my phone here in real time and see if I can uh, open up the Location Scout app and try and find our third location. So I will uh, screen record the process here and essentially go to Location Scout. If you haven't downloaded already, download it. Uh, create a profile for free. I've already signed into mine and I want to go to Hamburg. 
search Hamburg. There's 243 locations here for Hamburg. You're seeing the uh, screen recording right now in the edit. And uh, there are a lot of really, really good examples of just amazing photos that are in and around the city. And a lot of these locations I already know. I've been using this app for a couple of years, but also exploring on my own and uh, uh, spending time with other photographers in the city as well and, and trying to get kind of the best results from these different locations. But you can see from the examples that these are really good photos. Like these, uh, these contributors know what they're doing and it's amazing to see such uh, high quality examples uh, right here on your phone. And it gives me a lot of inspiration personally to try and find these shots and uh, see if I can get something similar or even better. But uh, what we'll do here is go to the map because I want to try and see uh, the next location for this video right now. And I believe, like, I don't see my location here. I'm not sure if the free version actually gives you your location while using the app, uh, but I don't see mine. so. Luckily, I know where I am in the city and I want to explore this spot right here. It's called the Emporio Hamburg. This is a building that uh, I've never been to before and there's only one photo example of it. And it's kind of exactly what I'm looking to do here in this video with these long exposure black and whites. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, walk there because it's only a couple minutes from the Hansa Forum where we just were and see if that will be a good location for the City Break group that is coming here in a couple weeks time. All right, I want to uh, switch lenses again. So the 12 to 24 2.8 from Sony is an absolute beast. Perfect lens for uh, architecture. But for this uh, sort of test, I guess, location scouting, because I've never been here before, I want to put the 16 to 35 back on and uh, put my filters on. So I've got my uh, my Benro filter kit here with a couple of uh, Lee filters. So I'm gonna throw those on the 16 to 35 from Canon and see if we can get a nice long exposure to try and get some movement in the clouds. There's, there's definitely something happening out there and I wanna try and get some movement to uh, soften the image out. So let's switch that onto the uh, tripod and see what we can get. Pretty cool little Bedouin corner of the city here. I remember stumbling across this place years ago and uh, it was the summer and I was thinking, fuck, this looks pretty cool. And this is where you can get like drinks and, uh, and food trucks and whatnot. And they got all these like really cool kind of like just hidden spots for people to chill and hang out. It's, uh, it's pretty weird, but funny enough, not as dirty as you would think. It's, it's pretty nice actually. So I gotta say, yeah, I thought Portland was weird, but Hamburg, keeping it weird. Keeping it weird and I like it. To our final destination and I would not have known of this place without Location Scout the app. This is a, a phenomenal staircase that I've never been to. I've walked past this building a couple times but had no idea that it was in here. Uh, so shout out to the app for that. If you spend a bit of time really digging deeper you can find some hidden gems for sure. So this is a hotel open all the time and uh, I asked the receptionist if it was okay to check out the staircase, take a couple photos. She said it's absolutely fine. Why not? It's right here on sort of the first floor. You can see it's uh, 
no hotel rooms. There's probably a couple of meeting rooms over there. So we're not bothering anybody. And uh, the staircase is just right here. Looks absolutely incredible. Check this out. Unreal, hard to see with the video camera, but uh, I'm gonna get out the stills camera and probably just go handheld again, get a couple snaps and uh, show you what this looks like. Hidden gem right in the center of the city. And we're back outside. That was a very cool little find at the end there with that nice little staircase. And uh, overall, a really fun video to make. I haven't uh, come down here in a number of months and it's really good to uh, get the Location Scout app back out and have a look at anything's changed or anything's been added. And now it looks like I can change some things and, uh, and try and add some things as well. So definitely a very uh, productive and useful day here. And I'm very much looking forward to showing the, uh, the 12 participants who have signed up for the first city break, a little bit more of Hamburg, possibly even this Leica store. If you want to spend some, some real money, come to Hamburg and buy yourself a Leica or a Hasselblad. God damn. But uh, no, we're going to keep going. I think uh, I'll be in the city for a couple more months. And then the next big trip for me is Bolivia. So going to the Atacama and uh, back to an old stomping ground from a number of years ago. And I think it's going to be awesome. So I will see you, I think, in the next video, probably here in the city. And uh, yeah, hope you like this one. Check out Location Scout. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you on the next one. Later.